Hi guys and welcome to this tutorial on how to back up Joomla 3 with Akiba Backup. One of the most important things that you do when you manage a website is to make sure that you have a backup copy of your website available just in case something happens. There's another software that I want to introduce today and it's called Akiba Backup and it's a great software for backing up your Joomla website. It will also do WordPress. So when you go to Akiba Backup, Dot com click on the download page now Akiba backup comes in two different versions you've got the uh, Akiba backup core version and the latest version for this is 3.11.3 .3. and you've also got a professional version which is a subscription based version and you pay a yearly fee in order to use its features the professional version of Akiba Backup allows you to do certain things that you can't do with the free software, such as receive your backup from Dropbox, Google Storage, or Amazon S3. You can automatically also schedule your backups, and there's a whole bunch of other neat features. But you don't have to get the professional version. The free version of Akiba Backup is a complete solution and it will allow you to back up your Joomla website and plus it's also what 95% of most people use. So I click on the download button to download uh, Akiba Backup and that will download my backup copy to my computer where I can upload it to my website. The other way to install Akiba Backup is to go back to your uh, Joomla website, log in, and click on Extensions, Extensions Manager. And when you come to the Extensions Manager, if you don't have it installed, click on Add Install from Web tab. Once your Install from Web tab is, is enabled, you can go ahead and search for Akiba Backup. This is the file that we want. Click on Akiba Backup. Click on the Install button. Click on Install. And Akiba Backup is installed and ready to go. The other way that I was telling you how to install Akiba Backup was to go through Extensions and click on Extension Manager and upload the file that you downloaded from the Akiba Backup website. Okay, so now that we have Akiba Backup installed, click on Components and click on Akiba Backup. And when you come to this page, scroll down, click on Accept the mandatory information and apply preferences. And what Akiba Backup is doing is it's running the configuration wizard, which helps to optimize your server so that it will run a lot quicker and faster the next time round. Okay, so now that the configuration has finished, we can click the backup button to start backing up our, uh, Akiba, uh, our website, or we can click on configuration to configure Akiba Backup a bit more. Let's go to Control Panel for now. Next time you access uh, Akiba Backup, what you'll see is the uh, Control Panel for Akiba Backup. Generally, the only button that you need to use is to do a backup, which you can do by clicking on Backup Now. So I'll click on Backup Now. On this Start a New Backup page, I can write a short description of what I want to backup as well as a comment. I'm just going to leave everything as, in, as it is in default and I'll click the Backup Now button and the backup will start. It may appear to freeze, but um, just let Akiba Backup do its job and once it's done, you might, uh, depending on your computer, it might take uh, several minutes or it might uh, take a bit longer. If that's the case, just go ahead and have a coffee and come back when it's done.
Okay, now that our site has been successfully back up, we can click on Manage Backups. And on the Manage Backup page, I've got a copy of my backup file, which is a 19.27 megabytes. On this Manage Backup page, I can also click the Part 00 button, and that will allow me to download the backup copy and store it in a safe place. And that's pretty much how you use Akiba Backup. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.